Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to Pretty Planet. My name is Tara, for those of you that are new, and for those of you that are returning, I thank you guys so much for coming back to support my channel. You guys, as you can tell in the title, we're gonna do quite a few things in this video. Um, if you guys were here for my Faith and Fall Flavors Advent, I did mention that I will be setting up a prayer Bible. So I have two prayer Bibles here, well, two Bibles that I am thinking I'm going to set up as a prayer Bible. There's been a little bit of discrepancy, but we'll get into that. And then I also, you guys, before I started um, my shopping spree, I wanted to test out some pens. I wanted to test out some highlighters. Um, I have color pencils here, and I just want to see how these things are going to work in the Bible that I choose before I get started. Um, so stick around, you guys, if you want to see how all of these things play out in my prayer Bible, then just keep watching. <music> Right, you guys before we dive into the testing of these pens and markers and highlighters and pencils um, I also have some twistable I think I have the twistable crayons here I'm not sure I don't even know what I'm going to use I'm kind of hesitant with the highlighters because I worry about the bleeding as well as the pens but we're gonna see how these products that I have on hand already um, work out in my Bible. So let's do a little review really quick of the two Bibles that I'm choosing from as my prayer Bible. I will move these things out the way for now. So initially in my Faith and Fall Flavors, I introduced this compact Holy Bible NLT version by Tyndale. It has that leather feel. I introduced this and my goal was to actually convert this into my prayer Bible. However, it is small enough and it's really small, smaller than what I like Um as far as reading. I can read it, but I definitely need to put on some reading glasses. And another thing about this Bible, the words in Jesus are not read. And so that's one of the features that attracts me um, when I'm purchasing a Bible. I love for the words of Jesus to be in red. Um, and this one doesn't have that. I'm sure I will use this for something or I will gift it away um, to someone. It is a really nice Bible. I love the NLT translation, but we're going to compare this to something else that I decided to try out. So this is also a New Living Translation. This is from Tyndale as well. And it has a filament app. The words of Jesus are in red. It's a flat lay um, format. And it has like um, the leather. It's almost rose metallic peony leather like. That's what it says here. It's a compact Bible. And I will open this and let you guys know. It has giant print, you guys. And it is a little bit thicker. Um, and we'll compare the thickness in the two and we'll compare the size of the two because it does have giant print. So it's still compact to me. Um, it'll still fit in my tote bag um, and I'll show you guys too. I have a prayer tote. I'm going to do a video soon um, of what's in my prayer tote, so you guys want to stay tuned for that. But this is going to go with me everywhere that I go. So it's still nice, it's compact, and we will compare the writing, the font size, I should say. Um, let's see, what's the best way to do this? I'll just put it... I don't know if you guys can even see side by side. And I don't remember the point the font point in this one. I don't even know that it, it'll say it. I'm not sure. But this font point in this Bible, let's see. It must say it somewhere. Hmm. Oh, 10 point font. So if this is 10, then I'm thinking this must be eight. Yeah, it's um quite.
quite a bit of a difference. I hope you guys can see on camera. It's quite a bit of a difference. Um, and this is definitely easier to read. Um, somehow I ended up Exodus 19 and this is Exodus 10, but you know, still, um, I was just pointing out I ended up in the same book. <laughs> I didn't do that purposely, but yes, this is 10 font and this must be, I'm thinking eight. It's really small compared to this. And let's see, if we go to the New Testament, we'll see here that our words of Jesus are in red. And let's see. This is my first time doing a Bible review, you guys. So we have our notes to the reader here. In the beginning, um, let's see. And then it starts with the Old Testament. So I was wondering if there were um, an index in the front. Maybe it's in the back. Let's see. Okay, our contents. Yes, we do have that. And I thought there were some maps or something. Maybe it's in the back. We'll flip back there to see. But this is the introduction to the New Living Translation. And then it starts in the Old Testament. And then a visual overview of the Bible introduction. There are some maps back here, colored maps, full color maps. And this is in Israel's annual calendar. This is the 12 tribes of Israel, kingdoms of Israel, the book of Psalms. This is interesting. I don't think I have a Bible with this um, in it. And it says each Psalm is mapped as follows. So then we have Praise, thanksgiving, trust, wisdom, royal, God is king, messianic, Zion, lament, and vindic vindication. And it's color-coded. So I'm going to really do some studying of that. That's interesting. We have the prophets here. This is nice. The exile. The ministry of Jesus. And then just the map of the Mediterranean Sea. Prophecies of the Messiah. This is really nice, you guys. I'm going to do my best to try to really study these things. Even though this is my prayer Bible and I'm using it specifically for prayer, I know this will be helpful in my journey in understanding the word and the origin and the intent. Um, it just gives you another, like a visual, that's what it's called, a visual overview. So yeah, I know that's the intention and I am going to be intentional about putting this to use for sure because I don't think any of my other Bibles have that. But I want to, um, as I'm testing out these pens, I want to see how it's going to work in this Bible. So I need a test page and I don't want to use anything um you know, that I'm gonna, I don't wanna use anything with scripture on it, but maybe like this page here um, with the ISBN and information about the Bible, I can use that. Let's see. Um, these are verse finders. No, I don't wanna use those pages either. So we are going to just use this here and we'll see if anything bleeds through. It's kind of like the color page though. Hmm. Okay, I thought I would have more pages to use as a test page, but some of these I just don't want to use as a test page. Um, let's see. Some of the pages are sticking together because it is new and I haven't flipped through it, but I'm just trying to find a test page, you guys. Um, the verse finder. I don't want to use the verse finder either. I think my better option is going to be that front page there. Okay. Yep. We're going to use this here. I could actually use this because it just says Holy Bible and I think I'd rather use that than anything else. So let's just make this our test page, right? Even if I have to, I've never torn out any pages and I may not. Yeah, I've never torn out a page in the Bible. Um, 
So we're just gonna make this our test page. And then I will show you guys, it does say that this is a lay flat and it does lay flat just to show you guys that it is lay flat. So I appreciate that. Um, so I was on Amazon and well, first I was on YouTube and I was looking at videos about the best type of pens and highlighters to use in your Bible. And of course, there were a ton of videos on Mr. Pen. Mr. Pen is highly known for um, being the Bible pen, the Bible highlighter. The only thing, I think I did use one highlighter out of this set. I think it must have been a pink one. Um, but these are gel highlighters, and I'm not sure that I'm a gel fan, right? Um, so we are going to just take one of these, and I'm not going to use everything um, from all of these different sets but we're just going to use one just to see how it works out so we'll try the mr pen it says non-bleed fine point and it does have the little um, guard there so i'm going to write it here oops mr pen non-bleed it writes really good. Fine point. That writes really good. And we will see. Um, you can kind of see on the other side that it did go through a little bit. It didn't go through, but you can also feel it, right? So that's that. And let's try this gel highlighter. Um, I'm just gonna highlight Bible. Now that feels really nice. I don't think I like how it feels. Like I think it makes the pages stick together. And um, you can see it a little bit, but not that much through the other side. Let me see if I do this, can you, will it stick to the page? It definitely transfers, okay? So you guys see that, right? So I'm not sure that this is gonna be an option for me because I want to, you guys, I have a little bit of OCD and I just want things to truly work out for me before I get, you know, all the way started in my prayer journal. Okay, so in this pouch here, I have Paper Mate Ink Joy. These are gel 0.7. And I have a bunch of colors of these pens. Let's try this purple. And this is, I'm gonna try to, I'll write more in the center. Paper Mate. Ink Joy. And I think these will smear you guys. Oh, it didn't smear, not too bad. Okay, and this is 0 0.7. And that also, you can see on the other side, right? So I'm not sure if that will work, at least not for my Bible. Now I have written in these in my planners um, or written with these in my planners and it worked out pretty good in my planner. Um, I do have there's a Muji pen in here, which is a very fine point. I don't think these come in color, but this is a 0 0.38, and this will help you write really, really small. So we'll just write this, um, Muji, 0 0.38. And you can see that too. You can also fill it but not as much as the others. But I don't think that's gonna be an option either. I'm hoping <laughs> that I don't have to go out and spend a lot of money um, on pens and highlighters. So I do have this Bible highlighter that I think I picked up from the local Bible bookstore. Um, and we're just gonna open this and try. I don't know if this is gel. It didn't say gel. So I think that's why I bought it. Um, it says double-sided highlighter. And let's see. 
let's just try this. It's not gel, and that feels really nice. But you can also see that, and that did bleed through. You guys, it bled through. So this is a no. <laughs> oh, there's the other side. I was wondering about that. Um, just right highlighter. Yes, these bleed through, you guys. So we're not going to use this. If I can get the cap back off. This is a no. Let's try some handy dandy Crayola color pencils. Now my thought was, I know these probably won't bleed through. Um, and my thought was, how long will it last? Like, will the color fade, um, you know, throughout the years? If I highlighted scriptures, will it fade? So let's highlight this Muji. See how that'll work out. And see, you can't you can't see it at all. Um, let's highlight this Tyndale House Publishers right here. And it's not really a highlight, but it it's it adds color, so it'll point out where the scripture is that you're looking for in the Bible. And mm, you can see it a little bit, but nothing like that gel highlighter. And maybe I don't have to go that dark. Let's see if I do a little lighter. Yeah, you can still see a little bit, but not that much. So this may be an option. May be an option. I don't think I'm having much luck here, you guys. Okay, let's see what else we have in our handy dandy <laughs> pouch. Okay, so these are also popular for writing in your Bible. These are the Pigma Micron. They are 05, 0 0.5 or 05. And I'm missing some colors, but this is what I have. And we'll try out the darker color to see how it works. And then we'll also try out this yellow. And I'll just take these out. I'm pretty sure these aren't gonna work. Those are normal Sharpie highlighters, but we'll see. Um, okay, so let's try this Pigma Micron. And it says, it looks like it's a yellow cat, but this is more orange to me. It writes very good. And you can see it very little on the other side. So we already started using this side, you guys, so we're just going to keep using this as our test page. So I wrote NLT and I can see it a little, but not much. It's probably more than what I want, but I don't know if there's a way around it. You know, I, I just don't know. Um, let's use the darker color and see. This is kind of dried out. Well, now it's writing. And this looks like a purple tip, but it looks black to me. Probably because I've had these for a long time. This is truly black. I don't know why it has purple on there, but it's black. <laughs> um, it's a little smudging if I don't let it dry. And you can see on the other side with the darker colors. Not as much as these other ones, but you still can see it. So that is a no. Let's try this highlighter here, which is a regular Sharpie highlighter. Um, we'll just underline print. And that is an absolute no. That bled through immediately. So we'll put these others away. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Some twistable crayons. And then we have up next, we have pen and gear. Okay, so let's try a twistable crayon first. Let's use this pink. Let's try to highlight Bible. And for whatever reason, I'm hoping <laughs> these crayons work. That didn't go through at all, you guys. 
let's try a different color. I am a, a Crayola fanatic. <laughs> um, let's see, where do we do our first Crayola pen? Okay, let's try on here. Let's try to use the crayon for Micron. And no, you guys, I can see it just, it's just a shadow, but let's try here just to make sure. I like it. You can't really see it. You can't really see it at all. So let's do, let's try another color because I don't want to be biased because I'm a Crayola fan. Was that the same? No, okay. What should we do? We did blue and purple. Let's do this orange here. Oh, you guys, I think I'm sold on these twistables. Okay, so those are a yes to my surprise. And I do have a ton of them, so that's really good for me. Um, and I think I have a new pack upstairs too, you guys, in my craft area. Um, okay, so now we'll try the pen and gear. Let's go here. Let's write pen and gear. Oops. That doesn't smear. You can see it a little bit. Let's just write NLT right here. You can see it a little bit. Um, I think this would be a no. So I'm, I'm at a no for pens, you guys. Even the Micron, it, um, yeah, I don't know. I need a pen and, and I want colorful pens. Okay, so let's try this one and then this is kind of like ballpoint, so sometimes you get that cluster of ink and then it smears, and you can still see on the other side. NLT, okay. Yeah, you can see through it. Um, so that's a no. That's all we have in that case. And then I have these, which I use in my planners all the time. These are the Paper Mate um, flares. So we'll get a few colors here. Paper Mate flares. And then these are from Dollar Tree. They're Optimus Fine Point pens. We can try them just because I have them here. Um, okay, let's try the Paper Mate flare. These are very pigmented. How do they spell flare? A-I-R or R-E? <laughs> F-L-A-I-R. They don't smear, but they definitely bleed through. So that's a no. Um, I'll try the lighter color, but this is probably gonna be the same. Paper made flare. Yep. Nope, they bleed through. So those aren't for the Bible either. Okay, I think this is last on our list, you guys. These are the Optimus Fine Point pens from Dollar Tree. Let's see. Optimus, I'll just put Dollar Tree. Nope, that's a definite no. So we don't even have to use the others. So you guys, I am out of luck with my um, pen journey. I think the Crayola Twistable Crayons did well. Let's see. I, did, I, I do think the Crayola Twistable Crayons did well. Let's go to one of my favorite scriptures and um, highlight it and see what we think. Let's go. Wait a minute. I'm just really trying to flip through to loosen up the pages, you guys. But we'll go to one of my favorite scriptures and highlight with this twistable. Okay. 
here we are at Psalms 46 and 10, which is be still and know that I am God. I will be honored by every nation. I will be honored throughout the world. And we're just going to highlight this first little portion here. Now, I don't know if it's just the yellow, but it looks like the black font is smearing. Why did I choose yellow? Well, because at some point I'm going to use yellow. Let's see if I can get this crayon to go in. Okay. Even so, I know if I turn to, and you guys see I'm trying to highlight this very, very good. So we'll see how the twistable crayons will work. Um, let's turn the page. This is a real test here, you guys, and you can't see it. I mean, you see the shadow of something, but it's not interfering with the scripture on the other side, right? Um, Want to try another one? Okay, we'll try another one. One more. Let's use orange. Let's get this going because I have had these for quite some time. So let's get it going. And we'll go to, we'll go to, let's see, what scripture do I want to use? I think you guys know where I'm headed, right? <laughs> do you guys know where I'm headed? Do you know where I'm headed? Okay, John 3.16. Just want to make sure I get all of 316. And this is a pretty big one, so this will give us a really good um, picture of what it's going to do on the other side. You guys see my OCD? I'm trying to be perfect with the highlighting. That's terrible. Okay. Okay. Let's see. It's a really big spot. I like it. I don't see it, you guys. Um, because I'm here and I know it's on the other side, I can see it, but it's not interfering at all. And you don't even feel it at all. So I am good with making the twistable crayons my um, device to highlight scriptures. I think it'll work out just fine. And I'm saving money because I have a ton of them and I have a new pack upstairs. So you guys, if you know of any ink pens that I should try, please let me know. Please, please, please let me know um, because I still need pens. Sometimes I like to um, underline certain things, but I'm loving how the twistable crayons worked out, you guys, even compared to the colored pencils. I am loving the twistable crayons, and who would have ever thought? I don't think I've seen anybody use twistable crayons as a way to highlight in their Bibles. So just to wrap things up, this is going to be my upcoming prayer Bible that I will be filming um, the process of converting this into a prayer Bible. I'll be sharing that process and that journey with you guys. We are going to use the twistable crayons to highlight my scriptures. And if you guys can think of any pens that you know for sure will work, um, then yeah, let me know below. And I do thank you guys for hanging out with me. I pray that everyone is doing well. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Keep praying, keep planning, and make it pretty. Music